Welcome all you Vikings and shield maidens. I do that every time, but I wanted to go ahead and record this video and show you what 150 plus hours looks like before the mist lens had ever launched. Um, I'm in here, my stone throne. This is going to be my first base. I'm going to kind of take you around all my bases I have. Uh, you see, I got kind of lucky with a lot of my <laughs> my boss spawns there. I found two uh, Yogluths. So, here we are. This is my original base. One I kept expanding on. I got my little smithing corner over here. Got, got my stone and my uh, workbench over here. Bunch of fermenters. Forgot what this is. Arc furnace? I believe this is an arc furnace. Blast furnace. Blast furnace. That's what it is. Same thing. And then I have a normal smelter over here or a normal furnace over here. Then we come right upstairs. Nice little two story. We got a couple more things just for comfort up here. Some tables, banners, the nice raven bed. random sign and item stand. You know what? Put the bow up there. Just because I can. Yeah, I mean, this was kind of my first little thing I built. Nice little log cabin. I'll show you what it looks like from the outside. Oh, out there I actually have a uh, hot tub somewhere. Over there, got a hot tub. Got a bunch of portals got a stone oven out here stone all my wood back here so proud of this thing what what the fuck's tagging me anyway so proud of this thing the maypole which is actually no longer in the game so I'm so glad I planted that before they took it out I didn't know what would happen to it Like I said, nice little hot tub here. Rest in the, the hot tub. Uh, then we will show you, let's see here, main base, bone mass, swamp base. Go ahead and go to the swamp base. And here this was for anything I had to do with bone mass, I believe. This was anything I had to do with bone mass. Oh, yeah kind of made it basically it's not much of a base as it is just a, a bonfire and a basically is a way this would have been the first one to see if I couldn't find bone mass here that's why there's no real base here probably a chest full of nothing yep so we'll go ahead and head back through and we will go to that just leads to the elder, that just leads to bone mass. I don't think I really built anything next to bone mass. Um, other than probably something just as a barrier to protect the portal. So mobs didn't attack it. Yeah, so a lot of those, these portals are just leading to the bosses. Where I'll have something similar to this built for the portal. So we'll go to where I built my next base because I always wanted a base like this. So we will go to MB, which is my mountain base. And here in the mountain base, I kind of have a little more going on. Like here I have an outdoor cooking station. Ooh, it's really blizzarding. Ooh, it's really putting my PC through some ringer. Yeah, all the fires are going to be out because of the snowstorm. But I have a cooking area here. This leads to Mordor, which I have for the dragon fight. That leads back to the my main base. Down here I have equivalent. I have a nice little... Ooh, oh, don't have any resin. Okay. Uh, once again, you know, crafting area, got my forge, workbench over here, my artisan table, stuff like that. Uh, this is the blast arc? Is this again? The obliterator. I got my kilns. 
over here in this enclosure, I actually have wolves. At least I think I still do. I do. They're not dead. You know what? We will give them deer meat. That didn't go in the enclosure. We'll give them the deer meat and we'll close the gate. Bone fragments. Okay. Well, and this is my mountain home. Get in and close the door. As you see, in here I do have one portal that led to the one of the Yargoth arenas where I had just finished, fin uh, you know, killing the final boss of the main game. So, <clears throat> you know, it's nice little cozy in here. Oh, poison resist. Hmm. Wonder how long that's been sitting in there. Here once again, I have the. No, set that as my. Uh, can I sleep? Yeah, go ahead and sleep. But yeah, so I have another mountain base here. Uh, I'm wearing the padded armor, which was the best you can get at the time that this save was kind of stopped playing at. But I got a bunch of storage stuff. I mean, I decked out. I have my favorite weapon here, the Frostnir. Supposed. And haven't even hit a hundred days yet, even just there. Oop, go open the door. Uh, down here, I actually have down here. I actually have a little dock with a my long ship, I believe. Run, 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 down, down, down. Yeah, it's not much of a dock, but I got a dock with a long boat down here. Oh, got something chasing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is kind of, you know, uh, skills wise, this is what we're looking at here. This is the new stuff. I'm excited to get into some of this stuff with Mistlands. Um, but these are a lot of my skills, you know, kind of being at what they are. Um, <clears throat> now that being said, what does that entail? What am I going to do? I know I have the... Ooh, that's a big fish. Can we just take that? Yeah! This is the best part about having a boat. You just get the fish just kind of jump up onto the boat, and you got a bunch of fish now. Uh, we'll go ahead and actually head... Oh, we'll just keep collecting the fish for a second. We'll go put these in the cauldron. Um, but I am going to... I do have the, the Fresh Start series that I'm doing with my friend. We're still going to continue that. Um, we're hoping to get a couple more episodes of that going here soon. Uh, but kind of a solo thing I'm going to be exploring what the mist lens has to offer and attempting to kill that boss Need the blueberries. Um, and you know beating the boss getting a lot of the new gear a lot of the new um, <clears throat> you know I want the new feather cape that's gonna be fun to get so that's kind of the direction this is gonna go with um, still gonna be doing a DKO kinda be playing a bunch of different games uh, I'm going to dedicate probably a single day for Mistland stuff and then a single day for the Fresh Start stuff and then a certain day for something random that I feel like playing and recording um, I'll probably try to do four videos a week, uh, two Valheim, a DKO, and then a random, I think is what I'll do. Or we'll swap it and do two randoms and two Valheim videos if I run out of things to do with DKO. I have one video in mind that I'm currently trying to get to the point of where I can, you know, uh, show it off and show it in action, stuff like that. And a couple different scenarios in 3v3s, 2v2s, and 1v1s. 
Uh, we're gonna head back to the main base real quick where I have. Oh no, I have the cooking stuff here, and the fire should be. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Get my raw fish here. We'll go ahead and cook this. Oh, we'll also cook all that meat. See, this is... I love a lot of the the iron cooking stuff because it's a lot like this. I'm going to probably double this up so it's a total of 10 per part. <clears throat> but we'll see. We'll see if I end up changing that, how it kind of goes. We're going to let this all cook. Fish cooks quicker than... Oh, more fish meat. It's all ready to go. Nope, not yet. Oh, I still have fish? Oh, dang, I have a lot of fish to cook through. Let's go. Let's go, fish. Damn, is it going to do two rounds of fish just for one thing of locks? That's going to be interesting. Yeah, two rounds of fish is one round of lock. Locks meat. Okay, that's good to know. It's good to know, good to know. So here this does health, 16 stamina, 15 stamina. We'll do the 16 stamina. And we'll put that there. Put that there. And I will remember this time, because I forgot in the last video, last up or the last kind of videos like this I put up, to put this in the description. I will find that where I got it in the website, and I will put it in the description this time. This is a really nifty add-on. It really just kind of clears up some space in your freaking inventory when you're doing this. Um, I will put that in the description this time, I promise. Oh. What? They got out somehow. Okay. Oh, Grey Dwarf. Okay, that's how. Alright. Gotta get them all following me now. Hello, come on. Come on, come on. In here, in here. Everyone, everyone. Come on, everyone in here. Let's go. Wolf stays. And push him in. Oh my god. Oh no, they're blocking the door. Alright, let them just roam. That's fine. We'll go ahead and come into here now. But yeah, so that's kind of the, the plan, is I want to get into the Mistland stuff with this character uh, now that I'm at that point, and then I'm going to have the Fresh Start separate, and that's going to be its own entity. I'm not stopping that with him. I just kind of want to continue my playthrough and experience the Mistland's content. So that should be coming very soon. I'm going to be I'm super stoked about that. Um, I'm just super stoked about Mistlands in general. It brought a lot of cool content, and I'm excited to see it. I can't wait. And I really hope you guys continue to like the Fresh Start series. We're getting close to the Elder on that one. And then we will be continuing and getting stuff going. Uh, these two series will run sim simultaneously alongside build videos for DKO and then some kind of random video throughout the week to kind of, you know, sustain four, uh, four out of seven days, you know? Shoot for four videos a, day, uh, four videos a week should be a good number. Um, other than that, once again, all you Vikings and Shield Maidens, I hope you have a great Yule this year, and most importantly, have a great rest of your night, day, afternoon, whatever it is, and as always, stay hazy, y'all.